Let's talk about the Icon Airflight helmet. It's fast lane. The Icon Air Flight. It's not a new helmet. It's actually been out for a couple of years. And if you've watched YouTube at all, you know as well as I do that there's like a million videos about this helmet. Everything you can do to it, all the colors, all the accessories, how to fit a GoPro or not onto this helmet. So why do we need another video about this helmet? Well, because Fastlane's opinion is the only one that really matters about this helmet. Because you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow any smoke. I'm going to shoot you straight. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about this helmet. And I actually own one. So let's talk about style. This helmet has incredible style. Matter of fact, when I first saw this helmet, it was the original Icon Air Flight, I was like, man, that is the most unique, coolest looking helmet I've ever seen. With this uh, drop down visor that like literally goes way down to like here you know i was like this is really really unique and really cool it's got more of that bad boy rebel club style helmet it's not your norm you know as well as me there's a bazillion helmets out there and every single one of them practically looks the same so when the icon air flight came out it looked way different it was kind of a cross between halo and some kind of an alien or something so when i saw this helmet i was like definitely like I've got to have that helmet. So wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Christmas came and I received an Icon Air Flight Peacemaker helmet. So let's talk about safety. This helmet is super duper safe. Yeah, I said super duper. Mm -hmm. I use words like that. Super safe. It's got a DOT, ECE, which is the European rating. It's got the Australian rating and the Japanese rating. The only thing it doesn't have is that Snell race rating. This thing is freaking really super safe. You don't get the stickers on it if uh, you don't buy it in Japan or Australia or whatever. You don't get those extra stickers, but it's still rated safe and approved for all those ratings, which means this is a really, really safe helmet. Let's talk accessories. So this helmet has a ton of accessories. Matter of fact, if you can't find something you want to do to this helmet, you, you probably don't want an Icon Air Flight. There is every style, every color, every kind of accessory that you can mix and match and create the exact helmet you want it to be. Everything from airfoils to air dams to shields to internal visors to different shields to, to a motocross style thingy mabob that sits out front. Man, this helmet just does it all. It's literally transformable from a regular full face shield helmet to like an MX style helmet with just boom, put this thing on, slap on a pair of goggles and you are good to go. Now I've told you this before, I love wearing goggles. I wear goggles in the morning. I don't like, I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's cold, it's rainy, it's foggy, and I do not like having a fogged up shield. I don't like having to keep it cracked all the time. I would just rather wear a pair of goggles because they're fully sealed and they don't get foggy. And in the afternoon, I just take them off and I got a shield again. Yeah, so you got basically like two helmets in one. You could transform this thing. It's probably the easiest helmet on the market to actually transform the shield. You literally take these two things off, you move the helmet up, you move the shield up a little bit, boom, it's off. The other one on, boom. Put the things back on, 
good to go. You got a completely different helmet, whether it's a clear shield to a smoked one or one of these wild colors they have, or just going with the uh, the MX style visor thing and putting on a pair of goggles. You can just do about anything with this helmet. So the price point, these helmets come in at about 300 bucks. You know, I think there's some a little less, there's some a little more. I think mine was like maybe like 330 for the Peacemaker, which has the cool foil, comes with a gold shield, comes with a clear shield. The gold wasn't dark enough for me. It's a little too see-through. And I gotta say this, Icon, if there's one thing I would request that you guys do, is literally you need to make your shields a little darker. I don't like people to see through my shields. I've said this before. I want a dark shield or I want a gold shield that's completely chromed out that people can't see. Listen, you don't wanna see this. No, it looks way cooler to see the helmet. Mm -hmm. So you know what I do? I just wear a little ninja masky thing, balaclava, whatever they call those things. I got a little skinny one, a little thin one for the summertime, a little thicker one for the winter. I just put that sucker on, and man, I'm looking ninja, all ninja under there. So that would that's what I would recommend. Matter of fact, if you wear earrings, this is a pro tip from me. If you wear earrings, or you wear plugs, or you got any kind of piercings on your ears, Get yourself one of them ninja hoods. I think they're called a balaclava, balclava. I don't know what you call those things. I can't pronounce that stuff. Anyhow, it's a ninja mask. What, do, what more do I got to say? You know what I'm talking about. Get you a freaking ninja mask, and you're not going to rip your earrings out. Because I'm going to tell you, this helmet will rip your earrings or your plugs right straight out of your head, and it don't feel good, okay? So when you go to take the helmet off, you got to pull it hard like this. And when you put it on, you gotta pull it hard to put it on. This thing fits relatively tight. Now, it's a comfortable helmet. It doesn't bother me in any way, shape, or form as far as comfort. It sits where you want it to sit. It rides right at high speeds. It stays where it's supposed to stay. But when you get ready to take that sucker off, yeah, you're gonna wish you had that ninja mask. It's gonna rip those earrings straight out of your head. So let's talk about the company Icon. I think Icon is a phenomenal com company. It's actually one of my top three brands that I love. I got three brands. You wanna know what they are? I'll tell you, you've already heard about some of them. Speed and Strength, Roland Sands Design, and Icon. Those are my top three brands that I love. They're quality, they're stylish, they're, they're just freaking awesome. What's wrong with you? Why are you buying these brands? I'm trying to help you here. Anyhow, so Icon is a great brand. I live in the Pacific Northwest. They're just up the road from me, about an hour and 15 minutes. And they're the local boys, you know? They're great at marketing. Matter of fact, when I see their videos, I'm just like, holy cow. I just wanna look like those guys on those videos. They look so cool. However, those guys ride a lot better than me. They're like literally professional like stunt riders and such. So. Uh, they have a little disclaimer at the bottom. Don't try this at home. This is a professional stunt rider on a closed course. You know, they're out on the highway doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah, don't, don't do that unless the highway's closed and you're a professional, okay? Okay, so that's exactly what it looks like. Pretty cool, I think. Do you want to be the coolest looking rider out there? Come here, come here. Y you know you do. You know you do. There's a lot of lame looking motorcycle riders out there. Don't, don't be one of those guys. I'm, I'm trying to help you here. Come on, I, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Listen to, what, listen to what I gotta say. You wanna get yourself an Icon Air Flight helmet. There's a million styles, a million designs. If you can't find what you want on their website, you don't want an Icon Air Flight helmet, and chances are, you probably don't even want a helmet. Like, share, subscribe. Help a brother out, would ya? It's Fastlane.